This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, is there a way to select a material that is applied to a model? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up and just have the earthquake model here loaded in. And the question is asking about how to tell which materials may already be applied to a mesh. So before we get into how to do that, let's first talk about what channels you can assign to the poly painting of a mesh. So I just have the standard brush selected and I'm gonna to come to the top here, I'm just gonna turn Z add off. And then right next to Z add, you have these three switches. So you have MRGB, RGB, and M. Now inside of ZBrush, using the poly painting option, you can fill the vertices of your model with the red, green, and blue coloring, and also a material value. So the material value will correlate to the material you have selected over here. So if you have M active, this is only going to paint the material to the poly painting of your model. If you have RGB active, this is just going to allow you to paint red, green, and blue colors to the poly paint. And then if you have MRGB active, this is going to paint the material and the red, green, and blue values. So as an example of this, we're just gonna turn M on, and this is only going to allow us to paint with the material. And after we have this active, we're gonna come over here and I'm just gonna open this up and I'm gonna select a new material. So I'm gonna select this chrome bright material here. Now with this material selected and the M channel active, now when I come across the model with the standard brush and just click and drag, I'm now going to paint with that material. So it's using whatever material I have over here and it's applying that material to the poly paint or the vertices of earthquake. So now I can come and say, select a new material. Let's do this one here and then click and drag and apply that material. I'm gonna come over and select another one. So maybe this orange and click and drag and apply that material. So using these materials and the M channel, you can apply different materials to your models. Now, when these materials are applied, you may notice that the border edges of these materials are a little bit rough. So in order for the material to be applied to your mesh, it's going to be applied to a single poly on the surface of your mesh. So if your tessellation in your model is extremely low, you're gonna get this stair-stepping effect. If you increase the topology of your mesh, this will allow you to get a cleaner border between material breakups. And you can also render with BPR. And when you use the BPR rendering, you can navigate to the render tab up here and open up the render properties area. And in here, there is a material blend radius. And this will determine how much blending happens between those different materials. So if you're rendering with BPR, you can also achieve smooth transitions between those material breakups. So if you want to get rid of the stair-stepping, divide your mesh up or render with BPR and change this material blend radius in the render properties palette. Now, after you have these materials applied to your mesh, let's say I wanna go in and I wanna start painting with these materials in other areas, but I'm not quite sure which material I selected. So some of these materials like the sketch shaded materials are pretty close. So if I draw one out here and then say I select a different sketch shade material and draw it here, they're pretty identical between those two materials. So how can I determine which material I painted here and which material I painted here? So to determine which material is applied to your mesh, you just need to go back over to the material picker here and click and drag. And as you drag out, you're gonna get this pick option. And when you hover over your mesh with this pick option, you're gonna notice that the material on the side there is changing. So as I hover over this one here, you can see I'm getting this material. If I hover over this one, I'm getting this material. And if I hover over this one, I'm getting this material. Now, after you've hovered over the area of your mesh with that material, if you release, that will now be the selected material. So as I came over here and clicked and dragged and dragged across one of these materials, it's now picking that material. And after that material is picked, I can come through and paint with it again. So I can start painting with this chrome one here. And then if I wanna paint with this material, I can come over here and click and drag, hover over the area where that material is applied. You can see this is now sketch shaded too. I can now come in and paint with sketch shaded too. And then if I come back over and click and drag and now hover over this one, you can see that this is sketch shaded three. And so you can use this process to figure out which materials are already applied to your mesh. So that process again is if you have any materials applied to the poly paint of your model, you just need to come over to the material picker here, click and drag, and you'll get this pick icon. And then wherever you hover across your model, if there is a material applied, it will be the material that is now selected. So if I hover over this part of Earthquake here, you can see it has now selected the skin shade four material. And then I can come across my model now and paint with that material. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag 
Ask ZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing!